Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to Elden Ring. We left off uh, about to go up in this keep up here, but I kind of think we're going to change our minds. There's some really basic dungeons, vendors, places, and things I should go to beforehand, because some of the mobs are there, a little bit tough, and I'm not a god at this game, as some people would say. And um, I need some armor. We, just, we need some basic shit still for my character to be like, actually functional so there is a giant right here which i mean i could try and fight there there's a giant right here 100 percent. i'm not lying there's, there's a giant there's a giant is there not a giant the beach is down below me there should be a giant i'm making it up go down this ramp there he is get my bearings here apparently uh so a little too soon. Should also be an invisible thing down here. You need to whack. Pretty sure this guy would wreck me if he hits me right now. This isn't the best way to fight him. I like going off the horse and doing this at his feet and ankles. But let's try something different here. A little bit of blood loss on him with that combo. He's got some range there on who missed the second one. Get stuck. We're stuck. Bad call. Judgment call was bad. Now he's got some extra range. I don't think I've ever fought in one of these guys on like a horse like this. I've killed the guys pulling the carriage a bunch. He should have a ranged attack now also, right? Pretty sure. That hit me. Shenanigans. I was really hoping to kill him before he got the attack off, and I did. Okay. Also, for this open world exploration, I should go get the health regen talisman, I think. It'd be a great play. I don't even remember what this thing gives me down here. I just know it exists, and it's a pain in the butt to attack properly. There is a crisscross spot that gives you two chances. So let us do this. Line it up. Come on. Be professional, Dig. You got this. One shot it. Got it. 100% know exactly what I'm doing all of the time. Best player NA. Drink a pot because I'm pretty sure there's one of those big two-handed guys down here. I don't think I've, I mean, I must have fought some of these guys off. So my first playthrough, I did an intelligence build. And by first playthrough, I mean, like I made it a quarter of the way through the game. So this whole melee combat thing is still fairly new to me. I do have a strength character that I haven't gotten past Godric yet. So melee is very new to me. I just wasn't taking the slow combat of it, so we fired up the Dex character, and I like Dex so much better in the Dark Souls games. A lot of people would argue it's not as good. Even I would, well, I don't know. It's all semantics. It's about your build, how well you play, and your play style of what's good or not. Is it fancy one and two shot and things with the strength builds? Yeah. But Dex just, I've always been a fast attack kind of guy, and Dex feels good to me. Should be dungeon around this corner that takes you over to the Dragon Island I want to clear. It should also continue the story of the bush from episode one. I believe we got the bush guy. I should also plus this weapon a few times just to make it feel good because I have a feeling we're going to be using this weapon for quite a while. That is the dungeon I want to go in. But I don't remember exactly what this vendor over here sells. What do you got, my friend? Purchase sword big club, right? That's the huge club. The bow is always just nice to have. I always buy the clues because someday I'll figure the darn things out. Ah, so this is one of the shields that a lot of level one playthroughs have been using. Sure, I'll buy three smithing stones because why not? I've got the souls. Well, be on your way then. Um, I think I will. 
Thank you. Good doing business with you, sir. You're fine, sir. I do like your merchant's guild. I am also curious what happens if you murder them. There should be items hiding over here. Why did it throw up a bow key? Golden pickled foot. Uh, I don't remember if it's worth going up here. I know it's a bit weird and sketch. And I know there's an item down there. Silver pickled foot. Okay, game. I mean... It works. I can't complain. We got the items, got the things I wanted to get while we were down there. However, I did kind of set myself way back around in this loop we're going to have to run again. I really wish this game was just more FPS stable on PC. It's so weird. There's moments where it just runs perfectly, and then there's moments where you get a lot of lag and stutters. It actually does help. Like close internet browsers. So I'll tab there real quick. Frame stuttering. A lot of people do complain about it. And I don't know. I guess you just end up in like this world. Like, let me know which category you're in in the comments here. There's people that can deal with frame drops and deal with the lag if it's a good, well playing game. And like solid mechanics. The exploration is fun. Combat's fun. And, like, we can just overlook a lot of things. But then there's people that are like, if the performance doesn't run right, I can't play it. And it's like, is it because you blame the performance or... I mean, I blame the performance too sometimes. Like, it sucks when you die because of a lag spike, but... I don't know. I guess it also comes with age and other things. Some people just have more patience for things. Naked guy running down a tunnel. I'm pretty sure I have a torch as well. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, what are you doing here? Here, check on you, bro. You must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. Not if I kill them first. That's just a repeating conversation, which means rest here. Pretty sure I can't afford a level up yet. Uh, do I even have any spells? No, we do not. Mix Wondrous Psyche. Please. Thank you. I don't think we got anything. Okay. I do that a lot just to test because I don't ever remember what I pick up, where I pick up, how many I pick up. Um, equipment. Three should be this pot, not four. Pretty sure that is my key binding. I had to test it, because you never know. And this is a very dark cave, if I remember correctly. So offhand is why I bought the torch earlier, was like this specific cave. What you got, you little rats? Let's see if I remember this cave. Two down, or two attacks, one down. I don't know why I said two down. Should be two here. Did I just hit a rock? Stop all your war crying and stuff. Your friends aren't going to come and help you. You get over it. Um, I've had issues in this cave before with the numbers. I'm going to take this slow and steady. That should be a boss room. There should be a big guy here and a little guy to the right of it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 
No problem. Um, there should be a summoner here. Yes, I would like to summon the knight. I die a lot in here. I have issues with this fight. And it's usually because I come here a little too early and I'm a little too aggressive with them. Also helps if I have my pots in the right slot. I shouldn't need a torch anymore. So double hand the sword. Come in here, we hit the five key. Summon my wolves. Gold walls up, knights in. Can I get rid of these ads before she wakes up? The answer is no, I can't. Gotta work on the range. I'm playing my strength build a lot. Much, much bigger range. We got both bosses, which I hate. Thank you. Good stagger wolves. She's got me back into a corner. Okay, one down. We're actually doing okay on health here. Where's all the ads? Okay, I'm actually not used to the two-handed version of this weapon's attack pattern, and it keeps screwing me up. So we're going one-handed for now. Because my intelligence build used katanas one-handed for quite a lot of it. Can I get the blood off? It's weird that this katana seems to stagger them also. Or I'm pretty sure I never used to stagger them at all with a strength weapon. Either way, sewing needle acquired... Yeah, we can push through to the dragon area, get the campfire, get the items there, then teleport back and talk to the gentleman at the front door. Then that'll be as far as I've ever taken that quest. I think it's after Godric you find him again and you can modify your clothing. What's up, guys? So close. Rickety shield. That's what I wanted in my life, is a rickety shield. My dude is just covered in blood. Uh, I don't fully remember exactly where all the items are on this island, so we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring again. Um, I know there's one in some bushes at some point, one up on the high point of the temple. I also never put my passwords in for the useful comments yet. I'm uh, just a failure, man. I never do anything I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go. I'm sitting here saying I'm a failure and I'm making sure I'm actually recording. I've done that before and it's terrible. Cause like you can't go back in a lot of these games and it's like it screws up the entire let's play. A little, little rodent. Hi, penguins. I think they're penguins or some sort of seabird, but they always remind me of penguins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Cliffs, 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 goats. Mm, that's one of the items. I don't think there's any items like worth anything on this island or if like any significant note. I hear you, Scarab, but I'm pretty sure you're up there or you're down here. Nope, you're down here. Did I make a video on this one over here? I don't know. Some bring stone shards, so no, I would not have made a video on that one. Up you. Everyone loves to comment at turtles, but I knew there was another item down here to gather. we smithing stones to plus the sword. It should just be a drop off. Troll comments, right? Yeah. Too bad your horse doesn't do a 180 or a torrent. It's not a horse. It's like a oxen of some sort. I don't actually know what animal this would be. We're just gonna call him Torrent. His name is Torrent. We should respect that and call him Torrent. I wonder if he named himself or if someone named him or what the deal was. Well, 
I do not ever remember there being a jellyfish here. Random. I swear there was an item up here. Why is this one glowy? Far to the east, you'll find the Cathedral of Dragons. Huh. So that's the clue to where the other cathedral is. Touche. Exalted flesh. I haven't killed any dragons yet, so there's really no point of talking to you. Ritual of the Dragon Commune. One day, I shall slay all the dragons. They do warn you about harvesting their souls. So, like, I really don't know what actual effect that has on your said character. Anything? Anybody? Pretty sure we got everything here. Got the campfire. Travel back here should be the dude to talk to when we get here. Oh. God, what a nice butt my guy has. You must not. Give the sewing needle. Is that what I think it is? Yes, it's your sewing needle. Back for me. My sewing needle. Pure surprise on his face. <laughs> what made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress. And that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by. I always Glad I can help out. Like sweet old mum. Then I s suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? No, you cannot. Thank you. You're very. I always wanted to be a seamstress. Then I suppose. That's all you gotta say. Okay then. Um. There should be a dungeon here, if I remember correctly. Let's go clean up some things. This playthrough isn't going to be a hundred percent probably because there's tons and tons and tons of stuff. I simply just don't know about the game, but we're going to explore and try and clear as much of it as possible. Figure a lot of things out and just have a good old time with it. Um, It's nighttime. I haven't really been around here at night, so I don't know. Any other bosses spawn here or anything else? Because this game has a lot of different things in a lot of different areas at different times of the day. I don't like torch guys. Also don't like that it took two hits to kill you. Speaking of which, we're going to refast trial back here and level up the sword. I do this in so many Dark Souls games where I run around with unupgraded weapons. It's uncalled for. I should go get a staff and get the magic enchantment and clear out that thing and be able to put magic damage on my weapon. There's just so many things I should be doing. But instead I'm running around butt-ass naked with a katana. My bad. Not butt-ass naked. For all ten, I'm running around in my skivvies. And like a sumo just- I forget what these are called. They have a specific name for this kind of underwear. Tunic, turnic, turonic. It's not a thong, that's like a modern thing. There's, whatever. I'm not gonna remember it. That's irrelevant. So I'm live streaming and I need you to come tell me what it is, Deliver Typo. Or Carthos. Or Car. You know, all the people that watch streams, they need to tell me all these things. Cause I can never remember anything. Brain don't work right. But six smart people behind me and I make a real human. Catacombs. Most grace discovered. I think I'm like a hundred, oh. I know what this place is. I remember you now. Is it to the right in here or left? It's to the left and it should be two. He got the drop. He got the drop. I thought I had the drop, but he got the drop. Fuck me. Okay. Yes, yeah, shit. Whiffed. Mm. 
Not a good way to start. But if I do that, get that, we don't ever have to come back in that part. Proper death means returning to the entry. You have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Okay. Let's try this again. Without the whole almost death thing there. So used to my intelligence build where if you get blood loss, you're dead. Like, it's that's just it, you're dead. Blood loss equal dead. Should be nothing in this room, just a flower. We can activate this. Could honestly probably run all the way through this whole dungeon. It'd be fine. Got a dart thrower up top. Did you come down? Yes, you did come down. Okay. I did hit the shift key there, but it didn't do anything because the timing was off. Ran myself out of stamina by missing because of range. Well. It's <sighs> not a much better start. Man, I got so used to the hyper long range of some of the strength weapons. But, I mean, I can blame it on everything and everything, but it still just comes down to being scrub a dub dub in a tub. All these Dark Souls matches. Elden Ring. I don't know why I keep going with Dark Souls. Always Elden Ring. I should have waited. I should have waited. Holy crap. I don't know how I survived that. You have very small windows on these things. And I should be dead. Should turn that one off, bring it down. We get to say hello to things now. There is no reason to go up. I did totally forget about the mob back there that drops down. Fire killed it, it worked out. Everything is fine. Pretty sure. Oh, wait. There's like three to four of the stone guys behind this fire pillar. I even think there's one off to the right here. You run in here, you hit this, you shut it off, and you back off. And yeah, there's two there. 99% sure if you go all the way to the end, there's one more on each side, too. Come on. I don't want all of you. Really? I'm this fucking close, and none of you are gonna come down? I mean, that's one down. I mean, you guys can clearly see me, right? You knew it. Well, thank you. Oh, shit, I got three. Um, I don't have any of the fire pillars active to kill them there. That's the easy way to do it. Well, thank you. How far will you follow me? Is that it? Okay. Okay with that, that lets me control your aggro a little bit better to be one at a time, hopefully. Come on. I should just use a fucking pot. Oh shit. Oh, that whole range shenanigans. Both. I don't want both. Oh, son of a bitch. I tried to go for the quick draw on him. Stakes were made! Okay, then. Quick draw did not work on that guy. God, they're so violent. So dead. So dead. Totally whiffed. Well. 
On that note, everyone, I think we're gonna end this episode here, and uh, we're gonna have to try and get through this dungeon butt-ass naked later. Why I'm staring over there at the cameras so this way. It's where you should be looking for your outro. Do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification. Uh, check out all my other channels. Dig Fig Glass a little. Dig Fig Guides. I do a bunch of guides for this video. This game. This video game. That, that's where I was going with that one. Oh, YouTube and your 20 seconds of randomness I must do at the end of every video for cards. Do you know they're going to change the system and a lot of videos are just going to have these random 20 seconds to the end in like 200 years from now. People are like, what was everyone doing back then? Historians are going to be so confused. Hi, right, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Dig figure out. Bye, guys.